Hello YouTube, uh, back again. Um, today I just uh, want to speak a little bit about the reason why I have been putting up a lot of videos lately concerning the uh, British monarchy. And I suppose a lot of people are probably maybe getting sick of it. But um, I'm sorry about that, but this is just what I feel the Lord has led me to. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, everybody has, every Christian has been given a mission on this earth to do something. And I just feel in my spirit now that um, the Lord is leading me to reveal um, the end times and, uh, and how it relates, like the book of Revelations, and how it relates to, to what's going on in this world. Because... Um, a lot of what I speak about, you're not going to hear at your church. They just will not speak about it. They will speak about the love of God and the love of Jesus and how he died and rose again and all that. But they don't talk about the mark of the beast. And they definitely are not telling you that it's the microchip or it's anything like that. They just keep quiet. And I don't really know the reason for that. But uh, I haven't been to church where they've ever spoken about the, the RFID chip or anything like that, or how the book of Revelations is related, is playing out in plain sight right now on this earth. In fact, um, I can't say I've even heard a preacher talk about it that, that I know of in my area, or where I've been, and um, it's quite sad really. They just go on as if if the world's going to go on and go on and don't worry about the book of Revelation. In fact, they don't even like preaching in the book of Revelations or the book of Daniel. It's all Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. But the book of Revelations and the book of Daniel was all kept hush-hush, basically. Now and again, you might hear a few words from the book of Daniel. But um, they're not warning the people. They're not warning them at all about the times we're living in. And I truly believe that we are living in the last times, the last days before Christ returns. And the Lord has put it in my spirit to speak out about how the book of Revelations, the book of Daniel, is playing out in plain sight right in front of us every day. But people have no idea because it's like there's an, a, a satanic illusion over covering things. And people just can't break through and even see the obvious things. Even, even when people, uh, witnesses coming out and telling, speaking out of what's going on, they still don't believe it they still don't believe the witnesses it's almost like they have to have something they say where's your proof where's your proof and I feel like saying you know the only proof the proof that you want you'd actually have to be in the room with these people and actually seeing it for yourself before you believed it you know and that'll end up you'll end up dying or being assassinated anyway or told to shut up so the only way you're going to believe any of um, the stories you're actually hearing on probably YouTube and the internet is if if, you, if the Lord convicts your spirit of it in your heart. That's the only way. It's the only way. Otherwise, you just carry on the way you're going and be in denial of everything and just believe what the, the false fake media is telling you. Anyway, I want to speak about why I... Um, doing more videos, a lot of videos, my whole channel, a lot of videos about the monarchy now, because the Lord woke me up spiritually about seven years ago, he really did, he pulled, he just lifted something on my eyes, lifted something, and I was able to see through this veil of um, whatever you might call it, this, this veil of evil that you, I couldn't break through, and most people can't break through, they only see the obvious, because they go shopping, they look through bookstores and see these magazines and um, they watch TV and the, and the propaganda news on the normal broadcasting stations like NBC, CBN, AB, BBC and all this and, and all the other countries, they're all controlled media and, um, and then when it comes to the monarchy, back then I always thought, like most people, I thought oh they're just uh, a figurehead the Queen and all that, just the figurehead, they've got no power, no point worrying or even thinking about these people. And uh, most people think like that, they think they're a Christian family and because that's the way they're portrayed because she's from the Church of England, she's the head of the Church of England, the Queen. And I thought, well that she must be a good person and I put anything negative out of my mind. 
but the Lord woke me up. He really did. I'm not going to go into all that, but he spiritually woke me up and showed me things that were unbelievable. And he led me to places because I asked him, I said, Lord, just reveal to me what's going on in this world. And that's what he did. But what I want to get into now is I want to talk about two visions that uh, the Lord gave me. They were open visions and I was looking into these visions. And um, the first one, vision I had, uh, for, for some unknown reason, was about one of the Beatles. And uh, that person was uh, George Harrison. Now George Harrison uh, was from the Beatles and to be perfectly honest he would have been the last person that I would have thought I would have had a vision of because I never even thought about him, not ever. And if I was going to have a vision it would probably would have been someone more popular from the Beatles like Paul McCartney or John Lennon. But no, the Lord gave me a vision of George Harrison and um, in this vision I saw George Harrison sitting on a bridge over a bridge he was sitting on a bridge like it was a, a not a straight but it was a round bridge going over a river and he was sitting on top of the bridge and he was in that um, Buddha type position and he was just looking very solemn and um, and I was just looking at this vision of George Harrison who was sitting on this bridge in the Buddha position and um, and then I saw a huge snake, like a python, and it was coming across the back of him, his neck, and it was trying to strangle him. It was a huge snake, and it was basically wrapping itself around his neck. And I thought, oh my gosh! <laughs> and um, and on the, and where he was. I looked down into the water and around him was just skeletons and dead dead bodies all around it was death there was death all around George Harrison just death and um, in at the back of the bridge there was a like a Buddhist shrine or a temple and um, and I'm just looking at all this and it looked quite <coughs> sad really because to me, I had, this, I had this. I always had the. F I get the feelings of these people um, that I was having this vision of, and I could feel like emotions there. And it was lost, like he was so sad, and he was lost, and it was like um, he was looking for the answers of life, and um, but he was looking. I got the feeling. The Lord was speaking to me. He said he was looking for the meaning of life in all the wrong places he was apparently he was into all these mystic religions and he was searching for the answers and uh, and he was basically lost <coughs> his spirit was lost because he was he was trying to find the right answers but he was looking for them all in the wrong places excuse me for a minute he was looking for them all in the wrong places. He was looking everywhere except for Jesus Christ. And um, in my spirit, the Lord was saying to me that Satan had a hold of him. And he was slowly wrapping his... his um, getting a stranglehold. This serpent representing Satan was wrapping around his neck and strangling him. He was trying to take the life out of him. And, um, and then I saw an amazing thing. I saw the Lord's hand holding on to his left wrist. All I saw was uh, the Lord's hand from, say, the elbow down to his hand. And his, the Lord's hand was firmly grasped around his hand, holding on to him. The Lord's hand was clenched around um, George Harrison's left hand holding on to his wrist very tightly so I saw the hand of the Lord I didn't see from so I saw the hand but I didn't see it from the hand up to the elbow because um, the hand was covered with this with this um, gown it was like um, those mis you know the gowns that um, 
people wear in certain places. It's the monks wear. I suppose like a monk's gown, and the and the hand and the gown was hanging down about six inches. It was very very uh, mystic, very beautiful, really. And um, when I when I saw this, um, it really touched me. And I said I, I had a good idea what it meant. And um, the Lord revealed to me in my spirit. He said, I'm holding on to George until he takes his final breath. And um, that is really amazing. Because even though George Harrison... He was into. He done. He done a lot of lot of bad stuff, and he was looking in the wrong places and searching for the truth. Um, the devil had got a hold of him, and um, and was leading him in the wrong direction. But um, even so, <coughs> the Lord still held on to him, and and he was going to hold on to him till he take to until he took his last breath on earth. I'm, I don't know what happened to George Harrison in the end. I don't know how he died. I don't know the rest of his what, what his life was. It was only that scene that the Lord revealed to me at that time. So whether where George Harrison went from there, I don't know. But at that time, um, the Lord was holding on to him, but Satan had his claws sunk deeply into this man and was leading him astray very badly. But the, the, the story was that um, the Lord was saying that I hold on to people, I hold on to everyone, everyone that is born of me, born of God, born of the Spirit of God, I hold on to till they take their final breath, even though these people might get go astray during their life and um, do things that are contrary to the Word of God, live in sin, do sins, do lots of bad stuff. The Lord is still waiting. He hasn't left them. He's still there. All they had to do was call out to him and say, Jesus, are you there? Help me. And he would immediately come to their help and rescue and make thing and make a way of escape from what they're in. Doesn't matter what it was. But um, yeah, that was the story. And um, um, and he, I thought I thought about how he held the left hand. And I was thinking about this, and I thought, well, the Father, the Heavenly Father, sits on his throne, and Jesus is on the right-hand side of the Father. And so we all go down from there. So if God is on the right-hand side, is on the, on the throne, and he leans over to Jesus to grab his first arm, it's, he's going to grab his left arm and hold it. And, and so it will go down the line that everybody will be grabbing somebody on the left hand. So I thought about that, and that's important for what I'm going to uh, say next, because <clears throat> after that happened, I thought about that for many weeks. I still think about all that, you know, just knowing that the Lord hangs on to us right to the very last minute. It's very comforting to know that the Lord is always with us, no matter what. Even in the darkest hours, in the darkest of time, in the worst of moments, the Lord is always with us, no matter where we go. <clears throat> and um, anyway, <coughs> I've got a bit of a cough. <clears throat> now, after that happened, I um, had another vision about, could have been four months later or six months later, and this time I saw the Queen, the Queen of England. And the Queen of England. Princess well, Queen Elizabeth was sitting on her throne next to her husband Prince Philip and they were both sitting there and in this vision it looked like that the Queen was probably this, probably in her 60s or 70s and she was sitting on a throne and she was making a speech and um, and as I was watching this I oh, know, as I feel all the emotions, a lot of time when I have these visions and dreams, I feel, I get the emotions of what the people are going through, I feel it myself, and it's very, very strange, but I feel it. And uh, I was looking at the Queen, and he, show, and he showed me, and this time, 
He had taken his hand off the Queen. It was literally in front of me that the Lord's hand had been removed from the Queen and it was sitting in the mid-air. It was gone and the hand was on the right hand side. It was on the right hand side away from her. And um, and straight away in my spirit, you know, I knew something wasn't right because um, the Lord doesn't do this, you know, he just doesn't do that, he just doesn't leave people like this. I thought whatever this woman Elizabeth had done, she had done something very serious, something serious had gone wrong. I think that uh, maybe at a certain point in her life that she uh, may have been a Christian and she was going along reasonably well but something happened I don't know what it was really I have my ideas about what could have happened but I saw the Lord remove his hand from the Queen and the hand was on the right side so if if the Lord if, if the God Almighty was sitting in his throne chair that would have meant that she was on his left she was, would have been on his left and as we know from the Bible you know Bible talks about that everyone on the left basically doesn't belong to him then that's why all the politicians and uh, a lot of the people in power and these movie stars and movie actors they all say we follow the left path the left path well when they follow the left path what they're really saying is that they're against God and against uh, what the Bible says and they're following their own will and they're following Lucifer and his ways and um, this is what the Queen, this is what this represented that she had followed, she had gone away from God, made a conscious decision um, somehow, which I'll go into a little, and she had separated, separated herself from God's will. And, um, and I was thinking in my spirit, because the Lord talks through your spirit, you know. I know. He talks through your spirit. It's not an audible voice or a loud voice from God. I've had that as well. That is very frightening and very fearful. But it's through your spirit. And you're talking through your spirit to the Lord. And um, and I was just thinking, my goodness, what has this queen done that is that serious that the Lord's taking, taking his hand off of her and she's on the left? And um, in my spirit, the Lord said, she the Queen no, no longer belongs to me. She does not belong to me. She has made her choice. I'm now wow. And I thought, God, what could have been what could she have done that was just that bad that she could separate herself from God? It just I, I was very confused about it for a while there. I thought, what the heck? Because I, I didn't understand about at that time probably about all the technology and what was going on in the world. But um I thought about it a lot, but um, then I then I then I realised later the Lord was leading me. He's leading me to different places after that, and uh, and some of these these places I was going to, they're talking about cloning. They were cloning and they were talking about living machines. That machines that are so advanced that a spirit is able to enter into this machine and operate the machine. I know it sounds far out. But um, these machines can live with a, with a spirit in it. And this is on the internet as well, if you care to look it up. And um, what, I, what I believe has happened is that um, Queen Elizabeth has sold her soul to Satan. That's what she's done. She sold her soul to, sold, sold her soul to Satan. And I think, I really believe that she has been cloned. And that the woman we're seeing now when the Queen appears for a Christmas speech or something like that it's not the same Queen Elizabeth that you uh, have seen from the past it's almost they look they're identical because clones are identical and uh, I believe this woman has been cloned and not just her not just her M most of the movie stars and actors have been cloned and this there's references to this and testimonies to this and statements being made by people that have been in these cloning labs all over the internet now and uh, so I believe that this 
Queen Elizabeth sold her soul to the devil and um, she has been cloned. She may have... She, look, she, she may have got cloned and she died shortly afterwards but they're keeping her around because it's, it's with the technology they have today, people, it's so easy to do, to clone people and what they do. They're just not making it publicly known that it's that easy but they've been cloning since the 19, 1940s probably even before that, 1948 and before that and there's plenty of people, are, uh, pages and information around to tell you that so this has been going on for a long time so the, because of what the Queen did um, she's done, she no longer belongs to him because when you sell your soul to the devil and you get you have yourself cloned what happens, your spirit is split so your spirit goes into the clone body but the, the clone, the body, the new body has not got a soul so Satan is able to enter into that new body without a problem he doesn't have to fight the soul the rejection, he can just go in there and put, Satan can put one of his demons in there whoever wants to go into that body and that demon is very good at mimicking that person that they've taken over very easy and um, this is what's happened what I believe has happened that, is, that uh, the Queen Elizabeth has been cloned and a spirit has gone into her and it's mimicking her and, um, and this is why because of what she's done she no longer belongs to the Lord also the technology that the shadow government has and the military have is so far in advance most people would never be able to comprehend it I know of things that are just so beyond human understanding that it would take me a video to explain it but I'll explain a little bit about the about the chip they have they have a have a chip that they are able to take the consciousness let's say the Queen for example you say well wouldn't if the Queen's been cloned wouldn't she how would she know everything you know well, what they do they, they have a machine where they can take the consciousness of the Queen and place all her memories and thoughts and her life past history and what she knows place it on a chip through this machine and then insert the, this chip into the brain, into the clone it sounds really far out but um, this is why um, the Queen can still seem to act quite normal and, and nobody is none the wiser but this is going on everywhere especially with the rock stars and movie stars and with doubles and things like that but that's what they do. That's only in a nutshell, people. That's just in a nutshell. It is just incredible, the technology they have. It's incredible. But it's all hidden from you. And, um, well, that's basically what I wanted to say. Otherwise, the videos get too long. And I always have trouble with long videos. They always seem to have problems uploading. Like, it seems like when I try and do something for the Lord or want to do something, or speak about something on a video I always get interruptions no matter what time of the day night I try to do it there's always interruptions and uh, like I'm trying like I have to edit edit this video because I've had interruptions in it and I have to go back and rethink what I've spoken about and start again it's like saying a prayer and the phone rings you gotta start all over again you answer the phone then you gotta go back to your prayer and start all over again it happens to Christians all the time and this is what I'm dealing with like I, I, I'm I, talking away and suddenly the phone will ring for no reason the phone will ring I thought I can't believe this so I have to stop what I'm doing and answer, and answer the phone or there'd be a knock at the door or a delivery or the dog will start barking at the door and scraping at the door for no reason and um, or the computer will just shut down it will just shut down automatically it will just shut down and if I haven't s had time to save I lose all the information I've got to start again it is very very frustrating and many times the only way I get a lot of videos up is if I have to pray 
I have to pray the Lord. I have to say, Lord, please bless this video. Bless everybody that watches it. Give them understanding. Give them knowledge about what I'm trying to present because it's very difficult. I've said this before. It's very difficult sometimes to put what's in your mind into words and put it into a video so people can understand it. People always seem to take it. There's two ways of looking at something. And a lot of time, many people take it the, the wrong way that I'm trying to present it. And it's not easy. And um, just recently, I put up a video concerning the monarchy. Man, that took me four days and a lot of editing. I had constant interruptions, constant computer problems, and uh, supernatural things happening to try and prevent that video from going up. And even after all that, uh, YouTube have um, blacklisted it. Well, they put a black you press on it now, it's black. And it says it's not suitable for people, you can't share the video, you can't like the video, you don't see this. So the only way to see the video is if you actually come to the channel and try and, my channel and try and find it. And they're doing this with my videos. And you know, this is, this is a battle we're in, people. We're in a battle for our soul and we're a spiritual battle and we're finding wickedness in high places and Satan is control of the airways and a lot of the time the only way we're going to uh, get I get can get these videos videos up is if I pray about it and bless the video and ask the Lord please Lord bless this video let it go up let it go up without the computer shutting down because a lot of time with these long videos our ones you're waiting for four or five hours to load and suddenly the computer will sh shut down and say sorry or there's a problem here or there and I think oh my goodness not again not again not again not again and it gets and the Satan's just trying to wear you out and say give up give up but I always end up getting up and starting again and keep on going but I have to edit the pieces little pieces I have to put them back in again because I've had so many interruptions and it doesn't sound smooth and the voice changes it's because of what's happening people and um, like in the last video I did it wasn't a very important video and I had a heck of a time trying to get that video together and a heck of a time trying to get it to go up on YouTube and um, when I tried to load it I'm not kidding you not the computer went ballistic the computer when I tried to upload the video it tried, the computer went spasmodic and tried to light up every single video, 670 videos all at once to try and stop this video from going up and I'm pressing buttons and trying to stop it and normally I do this at night time, let it go overnight and I come back and I press it, I let it go and I'll come back during the night I had to get up out of bed and get a drink, I watched it, and it was loading up 670 videos, repeats, of what I had up there, and uh, I'll have to sh I should show it to you, I've been, every time I get time now, I go back and delete, 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 hundreds of videos, delete, 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 because the computer just goes ballistic, and does stupid things, and even when I try and put comments in, or do certain things, the place where I'm trying to write there, it goes crazy. It, it flickers up and down so I can't type on it. It just flickers up and down. It's stupid things. Now, before I used to think that um, oh, the computer's the problem, I get a new computer because <coughs> I used to build computers about 10, 10 years ago. I used to build computers and um, so I know what to do with computers. And um, so this computer I have now is a late, it's, it's, it's it's very fast. I built it with everything. The fastest uh, RAM, clock speed, it's, I think it's over 4 gigahertz of clock speed, 2 terabytes of hard drive space, uh, fast memory about 18 gig. Uh, it's got all... it's very fast and, I, and it doesn't make any difference. It doesn't make any difference. Um, what, it, what I'm trying to do, what I'm doing. The, the same problems have come with this one as they were with the last one, the one before that. The only way I can get some of these videos up is if I pray over them. I just have to stop and I have to pray. And then they go up. I'm not serious, people. So don't take... A lot of people are having... This, a lot of Christians are having the same problem. And so when this information comes up on YouTube, if you think it's important, share it with other people or download it and keep it for yourself 
for, for, for later on to watch. Like, make a CD out of it and give it to somebody. Because you don't know how long this information is going to stay up on YouTube for. It can be taken down at any time. A lot of videos I've done up in the past on other channels, I've had a lot of channels taken down, a lot of videos gone, and a lot of good information is gone. So I don't take uh, YouTube for granted. God is using the internet, he's using YouTube. The devil uses it as well. And, um, but don't waste your time. Take things for granted with information. Knowledge is power. And if you feel the Lord speaking to you through the video, download it, keep it. Make a hard, uh, put on a disc or CD or on a USB stick and give it to someone. And so the word keeps on getting out. Because you don't want to come to the ch your favourite YouTube channel and find it's been taken down. Because they're taking them down for basically ridiculous reasons. They're just uh, people might like, people will be flagging your videos, so you're not suitable. The channel's not suitable anymore, so we're going to take your channel down or a third party. Any excuse they want. So people, if you see the information, you think it's good, share it or download it for yourself. So. Anyway, getting back to uh, the monarchy, um, I basically after these two visions I had and I saw the Lord's hand on George Harrison and off Queen Elizabeth, the Lord, just, just as time passed, the Lord was telling me how the monarchy is going to be playing a very important part in end times prophecy. These people are major players and um, he just, the Lord said to me just keep your eye on them and definitely an eye on her Queen, uh, Queen Elizabeth's grandson Prince William. He's going to be a major player. They are all Antichrist. They are all filled with the spirit of Antichrist and um, the, like the United Nations they want to use Prince William to be their new world order leader. The new world order is not going to last but it's going to be seven years of basic hell really in the last three and a half years is going to be shocking people shocking absolutely shocking and um, but if you're a um, true Christian a true Christian and you love the Lord and you put your life on the line for him and uh, you are tr when I say true I'm not talking about a Christian that you knock on their door are you a Christian yeah I'm a Christian and they don't go to church they don't do nothing for the Lord I'm talking about a Christian that says he's a Christian and walks the talk and he's, he's helping in the community, he's, he's praying for the Lord, he's asking the Lord for guidance, he's, he's not deliberately sinning. I'm talking about a true Christian. They're the ones that are going to be taking the rapture. There's probably 1.5 billion Christians in the world and out of those Christians, 1.5 billion, only a handful are going to go on the rapture. Only a handful people. The Lord's already revealed that to me. A handful. And the rapture's not going to come before the tribulation starts, and it's not going to come after the tribulation starts. It's going to come during, probably around the three three years, three and a half years time, maybe a little bit into the into the grade, but I get the impression from what the Lord has been telling me that it's going to come around midway. And you're not going to expect it. You're really not. A lot of people don't believe in the rapture. And they don't believe it. But anyway, I will leave it there. But this is why, because the Lord has just led me more and more to what these wicked people, the monarchy and the Pope and Pope Francis, what these people are doing behind closed doors, how they're sacrificing their children to their god Lucifer, and how Nathan Rothschilds has got his demon seed into the monarchy through uh, uh, Queen Victoria from way back in 1840 whatever Rothschild's seed is in the monarchy it's in there the demonic seed and the Rothschilds is what the Lord was saying you are you are your father the devil and his things you will do and he's planted his seed inside the monarchy anyway that was a video I had up before but now it's blacklisted and you, you have to look for it but um, this is why I'm doing videos on the monarchy because I know that um, they play a major part in end times prophecy. And you can see that um, their, um, their, their coat of arms, it, it's, 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 their coat of arms, it's got 
the lion with the body of a leopard and the feet of a bear. It's on their gates. You know, straight away, common sense will tell you, gee, that's what the book of Revelation says. But people are looking at it and they can't put two and two together. It's really sad. But, um, yeah, well, that's why. Because I know that this family is, going, is playing a major part in end time prophecy. And along with the Rothschilds, they're all Rothschilds anyway, now. And, um, and the UN. And this is why I do videos on it, because I want to try and relate what these people are doing to end times prophecy because they are doing it they are doing it to the book they really are it's right in front of you the names they use uh, the names they use in that when they name certain projects or like Prince William and he's in he set up his uh, Islamic center in Prince William County you know in Manassas and if you look up Manassas Manassi in the Bible, it was Manasseh was the most evil king of Israel that brought idols into the temple of God. And so basically what Prince William did was bring idols into the temple of God. But if you don't, if you don't read your Bible and understand a, just a little bit, you're never going to see it. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there and uh, God bless you all. Hello YouTuber, YouTubers. Um, I just want to show you uh, some of the crazy things um, that happen when I'm trying to make videos. And um, as you can see here, this is my movie maker. This is Phil Mora. And uh, at the moment, there's George, George Harrison in the timeline here. And that is his uh, picture I put in here. And if I move that, as you can see it's taken off if I move along here it shows our Lord Jesus Christ and um, this is the movie I'm making at the present time and I'm trying to uh, make up pictures that uh, suit the uh, video which I which I do quite regularly and all the time actually I'm always making up pictures and um, <coughs> When you uh, look at what's in my uh, <coughs> in my um, block here, this is the pictures and uh, videos that I used for the start of my video, and pictures that I've used um, in previous videos as well. I haven't got deleted them all, but what comes, what you put in here uh, will c will show if you click on there will come up on here, and then you put them into your movie maker down here. So these are the pictures here I'm showing you can see them all what's in there and um, so you can see them is just some of them I've, I've used for the video so far that I'm making now I want to show you something very peculiar very peculiar there's a snake which I used to make this video this picture up of George Harrison which I saw in the vision with the Lord's hand holding him so I make them up and this is the weird thing I've taken that picture of the snake which I was going to put under George Harrison here under here and uh, use a snake and blend it in to the picture now this is the picture of the snake as you can see there's a snake and there's a snake up there. You watch this. Go over it. Look what comes up. Are you kidding me? Are you cricking kidding me? It comes up as the Queen Elizabeth. And what is this crazy looking critter up here? That looks like a demon. It doesn't look like no angel or anything. And um, it's just really freaky. This stuff that goes on. It holds me up. You know, I'm trying to do a video and these things come up all the time. All these stupid things that don't even make sense. It's just one of them. People, I have had my my head forced down into my uh, keyboard by a supernatural power and I've lost time. I think, what the heck is going on? I've had the clock, which is just next to me, just come off the wall. And uh, the nail's still in there. It just jumps off. And... Um, 
but just this weird stuff, you know, I just have to, I'm praying all the time, Lord, protect me, you know, protect me, because the enemy, he doesn't want this stuff going up, he doesn't want you people to know um, about what's really going on in this world, he really doesn't, and, he's, and the people that are trying to um, get this stuff out, they must be going through the same sort of thing, you know, it's just weird, weird, and um, look, there's nothing in here. I can't up and I'm trying. I can't up and down it because that's it. This is this is that's the level. There's nothing to go down. You can go back here where I started. Um, let's have a look. I'll go back to the beginning. As you can see, there's all the the, rest, the beginning of the video here along there. And then I make then I come to the end of it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And I put the pictures at the end so it doesn't. I make the pictures at the end of the video so it doesn't conflict with what I've already put in the, into the beginning of them and um, it's, it's just it's just a pain in the neck but no I think to myself what here's George Harrison you can see the, clearly see the picture of George Harrison there's Jesus and look so let me grab the snake again I grab the snake and it straight away turns to her. And look at the picture. The snake. It comes up as her. Do it again. You can see the snake. You can see it. Look. It comes up as Queen Elizabeth. The snake. The serpent. Look at it. It's just freaky. Okay, if you don't. Let's grab another one. Let's grab this. Let's grab, um... I don't grab that one. It comes up as the monarchy. That's one of both of them that I made up. See, I make that picture up. I use that hand and I, and I, I make the pictures up. Look at her face. It's almost like it's turning into some ugly old woman. Oh, God. Let's grab something else. Let's grab... Uh, Let's grab my picture. Put that in there. Watch this. Comes up as my picture. Grab that one. I put that into the computer. And it comes up as what it is. See? There, 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 there. I'm not making this stuff up, people. I'm not making this stuff up. Sometimes and I go I go try and show people this in my home. And they think I'm crazy. They think I'm joking. And often when there's when it's happening happening, when I go to show someone, it it, it goes back to normal. So I look like I'm stupid. I say, but the Lord's allowing me to show you this. I grab the snake again. Back to the queen. The queen. I can't even get the picture of the snake. So what is that telling you people about this woman? Hey? I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth, people. And this is what Christians go through. Let me go to another something else I want to show you. Oh, let's go to John Rocket. We'll go here. I want to show you what's happened. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Ah, oh, let's say create. Customize channel, create studios. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. I've been here. Here you can see the latest, the latest uh, videos that I've put up. And this is the one that uh, you've uh, put a big black s sign over. If you click on it, you can only find this video now if you come to my channel. But that's a very good video. It's about how Rothschilds implanted <laughs> his satanic seed into the. He got his satanic seed into the monarchy. Good video. Look for it. And. Um, yeah, but look, 
the computer went crazy. I've been, look what it did. I've been trying to cancel all these videos out. It went crazy. When I went to upload this, this cable came up at the same time. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. I never want. Look at this. Look at it. Look at it. Next one. That was going on and on and on. Let's go down again. Come on. Come on. Come on. Look at them. Bang, 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 bang. Look at all this shit. And I've been deleting them when I get time. more of them and the computer just goes ballistic it is ridiculous and so on I've just been slowly deleting them but this is what happens people I'm not kidding you let's go back to the movie maker so look at this you got all these pictures I put up they're all ones they all make sense they all add up but I try and use the snake to put grab the snake I put under the video to green screen it and I can't green screen it because it turns to Elizabeth so people this is just crazy do another one who is it? Queen Elizabeth so what's the Lord telling me? <laughs> it's in your face people you know I'm not doing this this is no trick this is no trick I'm showing you straight out. Normally, the Lord only shows me these things that I can't do much about. I can't because it goes back to normal when I try and show people what I can see. And they just think, oh, you're crazy, mate. No, I'm not crazy. I can, I can tell you that. I know what I see. One last thing um, before I go. I just want to show you that this picture here of um, the Dragon Queen, <laughs> this picture is nowhere in my block. It's, she's not there. That picture is not anywhere in my block. Not here. Not here not there. That one there is, uh, is a picture of her husband, uh, Prince Philip, and it's a picture I made up with the Lord's hand coming in on on the right side there. And um, there's not there, not there. This picture is up now. And it's not even on the screen. It's not even here. That picture is coming from nowhere. It's just coming. And I'll go off. Right now. And it's gone. Let's see. So I want to, let's just see if we can make this. Make this. So you might get to see it better. But you can clearly see the serpent. The snake. The snake. Which is that picture here. I'll just click on that, see what happens. Oh shit, what happened? Oh, it went ballistic. It went ballistic. What happened? I wouldn't even... I still... I couldn't even... Uh, put it up there. Where is it? Now it's back here. Get out of it. Take that out. Delete it. And everything else seems to be normal. Now it's back here. So, okay. She represents the snurfing. Now let me see something else. I'll see if I can get one of these pictures to go up in here. Let's try the Lord Jesus. Look at that. Look at that. It comes up immediately. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord, for uh, giving me this moment to show people that I'm not faking this or making this stuff up. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, we'll go back to the serpent. Here's a snake. Let's see what happens. The queen. I think that is a good enough demonstration to show you that I'm not kidding. I'm not faking it. This is what happens. When I'm trying to make a lot of videos to expose the devil and his wickedness in high places. This is what happens. And it takes a long time to get some of these videos up. So people don't take these videos for granted when I'm putting them up. Take them seriously. You know, because the information may not always be available to you. Anyway, i got to go. This video just dragged out so long. But hopefully it'll be worth it. Lord, I just pray, Lord Jesus, that you'll bless everybody that watches this video when it finally gets finished. Just protect them, Father. Just protect them. Cover them with a hedge of angels, Father, wherever they go. Just love them, you know, and protect them. Even the ignorant ones, Father, because they don't know how much protection they have over them, even though they don't realize it. So, Lord, I just pray, Lord, that you just bless the people that watch this and just protect them from the wickedness in high places and the evil that surrounds them every day, even though they don't know about it. But uh, you're only uh, uh, a word away. All they have to do, even in this in their mind, call out to you and say, Lord, are you there? Help me now. Be with me. Give me peace. Protect me from Satan's wickedness and evil. So I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.